Hey folks, Bob Reese here with the Guides Forecast, giving you a fishing report for Tuesday, the 16th of August. I already started my words. Only 16 days into the season. Um, uh, lots of fish in the river. A good bite in the morning. We're on the double tide series. A lot of folks have heard me talk about the double high tide during daylight hours. I'm going to start some back-to-back -back trips um, next three days, so I'm not sure how detailed my reporting is going to be of course we'll put out our weekly newsletter on thursday but as far as today goes uh, knocking out the ocean um there was some boats that went uh, one boat i know in particular went way out to 300 350 foot of water uh and got them right away quick action lots of action um just bypassed all the shallow stuff and went to the deep deep water I, I'm going to write a little bit about that in uh, the North Coast section of the report this week. Deep water fishing. Um, and then the folks that went to the north, uh, it sounded like a slow start. I don't, I'm sure they finished up okay up there. We found them up there yesterday, but uh, um, <clears throat> it wasn't uh, fast and furious. So we yesterday we were in... Uh, 70, 90 to 160 foot of water is was you know consistent fishing, but we thankfully had a very good hatchery ratio yesterday to get our 10 keepers by 11:30. Um, river fishing, so yeah, really good bite first thing this morning. Boats came in early with some limits, uh, um, and then uh, there was the standard procedure here that we've seen in recent days where there was decent action towards the last part of uh, low slack and the first part of incoming. Um, we were out at buoy 11, buoy 10, the currents were doing some funny stuff there so you got to pay attention to your lines and where they go and what happens there that can be frustrating especially with the northwest wind that we had today. Um, so yeah all kinds of funny factors happening. Um, we spent most of our time after trying to catch that low slack bite uh, up around the bridge doing a bridge hover and there were a fair number of fish caught. We had a fair number of opportunities. There are a lot of jacks in the river, a lot of jacks. So if you're as frustrated as I am missing bites, uh, keep in mind there's a good chance a bunch of those bites are jacks. So um, we ended up killing three hatchery fish, uh, released uh, just a couple wild ones, a couple wild coho as well, a uh, fair number of bites. Um, the spinner rigs with junk baits are consistent here. They are consistent, size two, uh, size 3.5 blades with a little chunk of anchovy on there, a little chunk of herring behind the Pro Troll flasher. And we are uh, seeking them deep, getting them, getting them down with heavy leads and quite a few strips. So do pay attention to that. Uh, and then uh, there was a few fish up in Blind Channel, not as many as last night, not as many biters. It looked like there was as many fish, but not as many biters. Um, and uh, that's why I'm giving this report in the dark. So um, I won't uh, put forward a forecast uh, tonight, but uh, um, it's pretty simple math. There's going to be good bite in the in the church, maybe up in Blind Channel first thing in the morning, and uh, the pattern should stay consistent. A few fish at low slack and uh, late afternoon high slack as well, so I'll be double tripping it tomorrow and have a better idea what's going on. Good luck if you get out.